Hello everybody, I'm Count Crystal and welcome back to the belligerent Brandenburg campaign where the ruler is dead. Our wonderful Prussian nation has now fallen into the hands of Evelyn the First von Hosholen. And uh, she has a very important decision to make. A six, sorry, a four, six, five. She is a great cunning and silver tongue will aid us in forming strong alliances with our friends. So, the time has come. Almost, anyway. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to convert to Kalanixine. Obviously, we'll have to end this war first. Uh, what? Somewhat able to support? Right, so uh, I've been looking into the wiki and uh, various other places. And uh, the way in which stability is affected when you convert is based on a number of factors. And But in looking into what these various factors are that control how much stability you lose when you convert uh, it has finally convinced me that we are or well, we are I am definitely going to make a tutorial series about Mayo and Texas 2.0 uh, because it needs making and there are various things that change regularly in things so I think an, up, an updated uh, tutorial series would be helpful uh, to tell you things like this so for example if you have between 0 and 25 percent of the, your country following the religion you get that minus two stability uh, if you have between 25 and 50 then you get minus one stability. So, uh, wait, is that right? Zero. Between zero and 25, minus two. Between 25 and 50, minus one. And then something like between 75... That can't be right, because between 75 and 100, you get, uh, you get plus one stability. I'm not sure. This is why I need to make a tutorial series. It'll take me a while, because I'll need to make sure I actually get all these facts straight rather than just trying to ad lib it. <laughs> but anyway, that tutorial series is coming. So hang fire for that one. Anyway, uh, the takeaway is the only thing we can really influence to give us more stability points upon conversion is hiring a theologian advisor, which we do not have. Uh, Inquisitor, unfortunately, doesn't help. Uh, so we are probably going to spend money firing these guys, hoping to get a theologian. You can't get theologians from the nobles. We could, that would be the ultimate bad man as BM play. <laughs> we could use a papal legate to help us convert. Unfortunately, we're not gaining enough uh, papal influence to do that. That would be amazing. <laughs> anyway, the ruler is dead. Of course, a massive celebration. I was about to say their name and then say they'll never be forgotten, but I've forgotten their name. Um, was it Emma? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was Emma. Anyway, she will never be forgotten. Uh, massive celebration. Doesn't cost that much anyway. Game prestige and legitimacy. Fantastic. No, you can't have military access. Uh, yeah, let's start firing, guys. Hi, Judge. Nah, fired. Uh, losing stability. That's okay. Sorry, legitimacy. That's right, we just won this war. Uh, this fight, even. They have got a fort. Is that their capital? No, that's their capital. This is their capital. Let's move to siege to the capital of Dresden. Uh, probably with these two provinces, that'll be enough to peace out. We can let Mansfield deal with them. Oh god, they just raised up uh, the state levies. That's interesting. Did they not think they needed a state levies to deal with the other one? The East Elben Renaissance. Sorry, Renaissance? Renaissance. School of thought called humanism spread out. The church must come first or embrace secular humanism. Choosing humanism as a signal this country will embrace the heresy during the Reformation. What wonderful timing. Okay, so let's uh, let's do a little bit of roleplay here. So Evelyn, uh, before she uh, before she graduated, she went out to East Elba, which is oh wait, East Elbian? I was thinking that was uh, East Frisia, Frisia for some reason. Where is Elbia? Is that just a province? Is Elbing? All right, well, we'll say it's here. Is there a university here? No, it's a shame. So we can't see she was educated here. Is there a university nearby? Anyway, School of Thought from Elving had big influence on uh, Evelyn. As she was growing up, she saw the Prussian acquisitions of this land over here, and that influenced her religious beliefs, which led her to believe that secular humanism should be embraced. Uh, wait, this might give us a theologian, though. <laughs> That's an artist. This gives us a natural scientist and... Yes! <laughs> oh god, it's only 50% chance. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, that would have been too perfect. Never mind. We didn't get the, uh, the theologian that could have helped us convert. You're fired, sir. 
anyway, yeah, she ha she's been heavily influenced by this renaissance, and so uh, is going to lead her people away from the uh, the false false priest of Rome towards the people of the chalice, which, by the way, is the what Kalanixine means, or rather what Hussite means. Uh, although it's also founded by someone called Hus, uh, so a, a Czech chap. So I don't know. Uh, founded? Or at least heavily influenced by his writing, I'm not sure. Uh, so, presumably it's also something to do with the fact that his name is Hus. Portugal is taking control. <sighs> Freaking good reasons to leave this church, my lord. So should we convert right now? Or should we wait until like the Protestant Reformation begins to take hold? And then it'll be easier because there'll be less Protestants in the Empire. It's a tricky one. I think we should convert now. Uh, partly just for role playing of the whole, you know, Evelyn comes to power and has her own plan. And partly uh, just I want to see the new Kalexine stuff. <laughs> Which I think just seems really cool. Can we go directly to here? No, shame. I'm just going to keep roaming around, wiping out all the Saxon guys. There we go. Won the war goal. Is this level 1 fort? Level 2. You guys can go help the siege. Uh, and actually, let me pinch the siege leader. Old Christian can handle this lot. He's plenty good. Uh, we're actually over it now. Okay, we'll consolidate down. So I don't need these two. Sorry. I don't need this one. No. God, the hitboxes on armies, man. They are never easy. New tech. Yeah, what better time to totally overhaul what kind of unit we want, but the middle of a war. So, um, interesting choice. It's much more interesting in Mayo than in Vanilla in terms of what army, what uh, division you want to go with. What are they called? Infantry types? <laughs> Sorry, playing so much hoy. Um, because this is actually double the of offensive uh, damage that we'll be doing. And it's not half the defense. It's actually, good lord, it's five times less defense on morale. I think we're going to go for the offense. Keep the battles really short. Stacks nicely with our discipline. The discipline does affect attack and defense. Uh, yeah, let's go full on crazy offense build. That seems fun. We're at five again? Oh, I guess Nuremberg reinforced off a bit. Steal these guys then. Don't raise up right now. Second of June. We've got a while. You can. Uh, make it over here before they raise up, hopefully. We'll get one morale tick. That should be enough to deal with them. We lose this war because of that uh, switch over. I'm going to be irritated. Morning or late marks expired. Truce with Denmark's expired. That's good. So, converting is going to make everyone around us really dislike us, and it might well trigger a religious civil war. Uh, and, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Evelyn has seen the true path. Ugh, cultural unrest. I did do a poll in the Rome campaign about whether we should get rid of these events. This one especially is just so dumb. It's global cultural unrest, not like one cultures rises up, but all unaccepted cultures simultaneously, coordinated, rising up. It really doesn't, doesn't make much sense to me, but that's okay. So I did a poll about whether we should remove them, and it was overwhelming in favor of, overwhelmingly in favor of removing them. So I. Uh, I am still considering doing that. A witch hunt. Let them blow off some steam. Just carry We don't want religious riots. Where is that? Pure. It's... I don't mind a little bit of witch hunting every now and again. Lose some war exhaustion. Not that we have much. Sure. Let the peasants blow off some steam. It's very short term. A little witch hunt. Do do do. So the other big religious decision that we need to make, I apologize by the way for the random silences every now and again. I'm, uh, I'm still rather unwell, so needing to, needing to mute myself, is do we want to go tolerant or not? And don't we have a religious tolerance? Yeah, we have a tolerance of her her heretics uh, idea. So it seems very sensible to me that we should try and go humanist. But on the other hand, piety gives morale of armies. So that's a tough one. 
I may have muted myself halfway through that sentence, sorry. Piety gives morale of armies, so... It's a tough one. Whether we should go with, uh... Hmm... With secularism. Or fanaticism. I think we will go secular. We're going pious in the Rome campaign, so... Change things up. Seems... Good to me. 20th of August, that's alright, I can wait. Arrive on the 21st. But it didn't. That's really weird. Oh well. Made them cancel the training. Once we... Our statesman has died. That's fine. It's a... Uh, theologian we want anyway. Keep firing the level ones. Did we finish scoring Stettin? We did. Nice. Burgers have control. That's fine. I am still considering very seriously moving the capital to Stettin. I don't think we want to do it until we own quite a bit more land, though. Because for now, you know, most of our urban stuff is inland here. Uh, though, of course, there is all the stuff out here in the east. Yeah, so a move to the coast is uh, definitely, definitely in a Prussia's glorious future. So we do actually want to siege them down a bit more, I'm just realising, because... Uh, uh, boundary dispute? Of course we press the issue. Not the one I'd ideally want, but that's okay. But, um, what was I saying? Yes, we do need to see some some more because uh, we need to... Spirit Decor, gain three eye freshism. May want to slacken standards then. Well, that just brings us to 100. We considered 100 for a bit, that's fine. We're only wasting like 0 0.2. Which is only, what, three months drilling or so? Not long at all. Do I want to siege down this province? It's going to be a pain. But I think we do, probably. Did I ever actually finish the sentence? I'm not sure I did. We need the war score because we want to do humiliate. Uh, who's the other person we're at war with? These guys, but they're already full occupied, so not much we're going to be able to do to get war score against them. Ooh, hello, Saxony. I didn't notice you up there. Hopefully they won't uh, siege anything down before we win this siege and go deal with them. More of them. Get out of there. Oops, some of these guys are going to rally with them. Wait, so you're not fully occupied. Ah, oh, the war oh, the war has ended. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's not, not do this siege then. We need to deal with these guys. Oh, and of course, the moment that finishes. Good, caught them there. Do, do, do. Where'd they go? <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> I guess they fled into Poland. Interesting. I do not like the freaking complex borders that this mod has. It makes it impossible to see where the hell someone's going. Where are you going? Nunstead. Nunstadt? Where's that? Here? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Got him. Or maybe not. Yes, we did. Fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> Theologian? Theologian? Nope. You're fired. Do, 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 do. You guys actually on patrol? Yes, they are. Good. And here they are. Welcome back, Saxony. And goodbye, Saxony. <laughs> Indecisive bunch. So, of course, ideally, if we took these provinces. Be great. The last holdouts of the glorious uh, people of the chalice. Hmm. Well, that works in role playing as well. Our old dynasty is having some influence on us, maybe. You know, some ties kept with uh, whichever noble was chosen to tutor Evelyn. I should really pick a uh, pronunciation for her name and stick with it, shouldn't I? Any more? Yeah, lots more level zero provinces that we can siege down over here. More Saxons as well. Uh, how much is it going to cost us to take this province? It's quite a bit. It's actually coalition worthy. But it won't be in like two years. We definitely can't let Bohemia get over uh, over the aggressive expansion cap. We should probably stay at peace for a while after this war. Much as I'd love not to. Pugnacious nation that we are. But surely there's an easier way. I guess no one has access to Rus. Rius. That one. <laughs> uh, more zeros? Yeah. 
Let's just grab a couple more of the zero four lower provinces. Should be good. Uh, what's the claim threshold? 40 something? 60? Wow. Why? 60? Should it be 40? Ah, oh, memory of the HRE. That's right, that's right, that's right. Sorry, as, like I said, it's been a while since I played this series. I'm not going to build up as big of a backlog as I did uh, last time. You'll be happy to hear. Wait, that can't be your capital. You've no fault there. Oh, here's your capital. All right. We should seize these guys down. Take the money. They're probably already paying... Uh, uh, who else was it they were fighting? Was it Mesenberg? Was it you? Mansfield. Yeah, that's right. Should stick around though. Make sure they don't get a chance to field any divisions. Any brigades, any units, whatever we're going to call them. Armies. They're sieging our vassal. How dare they? I don't think Nuremberg is urbanized. Uh, they are a bit. But honestly, it's a long way from our heartland. I don't mind if Nuremberg gets a bit trashed. Ooh. Actually put up a fight here. We trained another man just at the last minute. But with our glorious offensive uh, bonuses, our many glorious offensive bonuses, they get stack wipes. Nice. Let's stand here so we're ready to react if they train more, which in fact they already are. Saxony wants peace, no peace. Hmm. Looks like Nuremberg is taking some heavy casualties over there. Let's send some extra guys to help make sure that siege presses on. And some more of these guys. 1,000 on 1,000, it's not ideal. But. Oh no, please don't be the good one. Phew. Bad generals died. Not as big of a deal as it could have been. So, we should probably store up uh, a money chest. A money chest. That's a weird way of saying it. Uh, you know, a stock of cash ready to convert. And a stock of. Uh, Stability points as well. I'm not gonna, you know, wait crazy long, but yeah, that seems wise to me. Come on, win the siege, win the siege. Nah. Do, do, do. Glorious will Prussia be? The game knows where it's at. Yeah. Got a huge border with Poland, so I think. I can't remember if that event has a per province basis meantime to happen. Not sure. Messen has fallen. No, Messen has come under siege. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. <sighs> you guys are meant to go here. We should also save up some manpower after this war so that we're ready for potential reprisals for our conversion, both internally and externally. The uh, church influence thing, by the way, is just if it's below 50%. Uh, 0 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100 are the different break points for your state church being able to oppose your decision to convert. Get out of here, Saxony. Worth remembering, of course, that our vassals, you know, even though that was a complete stomp, our vassals don't have the, uh, uh, what's it called? All the bonuses, all the military bonuses we have. Uh, so we mustn't go into a fight supported by a bunch of our vassals thinking, oh, it'll be easy because of our discipline and stuff. Because the vassals don't get the discipline bonus. For the obvious reason that they aren't us. They aren't the glorious, belligerent, Brandenburg, pugnacious Prussia. I don't mind the series name. Did I talk about this in an episode that actually went live? It's so annoying when an episode gets lost because I have to try and... I don't know, I obviously don't want to repeat myself from stuff you've heard. Like there are things I want to say and I can't remember if you've heard it. I've said them on an episode that actually survived and all this stuff. Anyway, um, there were some great suggestions for the series name. Uh, but I think we are going to stick with the original just to avoid confusion. Because I think there probably would be some if I switched it at this point. Uh, but of course, Brandenburg continues to exist. Because it's not like when you form a new country, not always anyway, the old country ceases to exist. Merely that the, uh, you know, it now exists as part of a greater whole. So in this case, for example, the unification of the Brandenburg and Teutonic lands now forms Prussia. Of course, historically, this area was Prussia. And then, I can't remember if the royal family here acquired Prussia or Prussia acquired the Brandenburg lands. I'm sure one of you will tell me. Lots of people are very interested in the history of Prussia. It's an interesting place. Can I have your 
cash please wow two ducats you're too kind trade power i mean sure why not give up claims for prestige can't do it no worries do 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 that's how i speak to my enemies you know we're on very casual terms no worries <laughs> uh we'll keep some men in position in their land just in case they rise up raise any more men some people should know when they conquered really but uh these guys clearly don't giving us all that nice army tradition what are we up to right now 45 percent sorry 42 percent freezing joins the republic what the heck the netherlands exists wow that's early <laughs> the netherlands exists and it's huge wow hey netherland you should have you heard of this have you heard of cups have you heard of chalices they're great you should you should totally embrace look at this development level that's ridiculous 12 8 6 3 all next to each other 5 3 wow this place is so rich that was, we should be buddies they're not in the hre wow of course because burgundy formed them Ooh. this is uh this is interesting it's gonna cause some real friction Ah, sorry about that. I'm back. It's going to cause some real friction. Uh, I think when we convert, we will remain an elector. Yeah, only Catholic rulers are eligible to become emperor, but we should remain an elector. Uh, if Protestantism becomes... enforces the official faith through a league war, then I think we will lose our elector title, if we're Catholic seen. Or Catholic still. But uh, I'm not too concerned about that. It's nice being a lecturer, of course, but... Astronomer. I need a theologian. Stop giving me all these sensible people. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's rude. Ooh. Oh, of course, it doesn't matter if someone gets raised there. We peaced out with them. Do do do. So, next year, I think. Yeah, next year we'll be able to peace out. We're going to want all your money. The province, the humiliate, the war reps. Good force you to release someone, but I don't really care. The other claim province we couldn't afford, and it would definitely cause a coalition if we did take it. They can give up their claims in us. It's just a rude, really. Uh, we could even cancel cause, maybe. They're probably not, because it's uh, yeah, it's their core culture here. That high Saxon, is they're high Saxon, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, that'd be a pretty. They're not training someone right now. Let's go. Let's go drill. It's only one more year, so... Oh, they actually do have men down here. Of course, I forgot about them. <laughs> well, hopefully our vassals stay attached to us, even if we drill. Do -do. So, historically speaking, the Reformation and... Well, maybe not the Reformation, but the, the religious war in the Empire was... Ooh, the succession of Evelyn. The lack of an heir apparent is a pressing matter. Not only for herself, but for the realm at large. It's been suggested that a young, prom promising scion of a distant branch should be introduced. A zero to one. Are you serious? No chance. We will never see a Wendish noble on the throne. Evelyn, give her time. She's only... God, she's 45. <laughs> she's only 45. That's perfect child-rearing age in the 15th century. Don't ask questions. That's why we need to convert. Convert to a new religion, which will, uh, then God will bless us with a child. Wait, it said he was going here, but then he never appeared? What? Where did that troop go? Saxony has freaking ninjas on their side, apparently. Uh, do we want Diplotech right now? What's the next idea group we want to take? Probably Humanist. Because we want to go, uh, tolerant this campaign. So, yeah, probably humanist. Weirdly enough, I think we might want to take aestheticism. Aestheticism. God, I'm... Pronunciations. Not my strong suit. As... Asceticism, I think. You're an ascetic. An ascetic monk, I think. Uh, because it does give uh, tolerance for heretics a bunch, along with a bunch of other nice, uh, nice modifiers. Will give us more piety. A yeah, humanist to be good. I think uh, we haven't got innovative unlocks at Tech 20, I think. 
Uh, but innovative, innovative and democracy are probably things we're going to, go, going to want to uh, get at some point. They also low, lower piety. Yeah, I like that. It plays into... Uh, I've been talking about role-playing a lot the last couple of episodes. I don't generally role-play much in these games. But uh, it plays nicely into, you know, Prussia. The Prussian constitutional monarchy was a very important development in European government forms. So us taking democracy and innovative, innovative ideas makes sense. Mm. All right, so in the next episode, we'll end this war. Hopefully find a freaking theologian. Come on, theologian. No, nope, that's a judge. You're fired. Uh, and then we will convert to the glorious religion of the chalice. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I do hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.